What's up guys? Um, it is getting late. We just, I just did not plan. I did not plan or schedule perfectly for, uh, the podcast that we had planned. I keep pushing it back and pushing it back and I just, I really don't like setting goals and maybe we'll end up, you know, finding time to like do, you know, kind of like a a pre-pilot like just test it out to say like hey guys we got the audio ready we've mixed it up and we're gonna put kind of something out just as if you know is a uh, a teaser uh anyways i have to keep doing the pokemon stuff because i'm getting stuff in and i'd like to review those sellers um anyways got this box i'm about to bring up from my boy nathan um i'm canada and um it is an Evolutions, XY Evolutions booster box. I've wanted this thing so long now. Um, <clears throat> I love that it's kind of a reprint of all the old cards. I've got, you know, stacks of them behind me, so I'm not even going to open this booster box. I just want to make sure that I got a real box and kind of document that process. Um, so let's get into it. And again, I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I don't like when YouTubers over promise and like say they're gonna do a big thing and then they don't end up doing it or they don't do it for a while. And I don't wanna repeat that by saying, I'm gonna do this, we're doing this podcast, but we have everything set up and um, I need to figure out how to do all that on my own. Uh, my wife, Diana, has been helping me figuring things out and I don't wanna be fully dependent on her to do the podcast. Okay, so. It open pretty easily. Try not to knock all of these cards around in the process either. I'm sorry guys, super OCD moment I'm having right now. <clears throat> Nervous. I'm super nervous, guys. Super nervous. Okay. Anyways, I there isn't a note, there isn't anything, there's not like a little gift or something, or like a thank you. It's just kind of uh, sloppily wrapped in this but hey guys i don't care as long as the product is there and it's legitimate and we'll find out they had good feedback so we'll find out oh my gosh yep i think this is the real deal i think this is the real deal i think this is seriously the real deal um Really, really cool. Yep. The packs are the right color. Everything is the right color. The stamps are, are the right size. The box is in really good condition. The proportions are right. Um, so, what you're looking for with one of these, one of these Evolutions booster boxes. So, right here you see where the end of this ridge is from the front of the booster box, it is below these letters right here. Um, that's That makes it legitimate. The other thing is the actual size of these Pokeballs, the texture. Um, it's something that I'm used to. It's, it's definitely the right size. I have a couple in the back. Um, it's definitely the right dimensions. Everything feels right about this box. Um, you know, you've got Blastoise up top. You've got Venusaur on the side. This is probably one of the hypest products that came out. Um, you know, I think it was 2017, this set came out 2017. Um, 
but yeah, you get, you know, you got to see all the old Pokemon reprinted. Um, screw it. Hold on. So, here's an example. So I have a bunch of stacked up XY. Y'all, I mean, y'all saw, I did a video where I went to the bookstore that sells Pokemon cards, uh, Second and Charles, and they had stacks of Evolutions cards. And I just said, you know what? This is like a thousand dollar booster box right now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy all these random bulk Evolutions cards for 40 bucks and I'm sitting on them now. But it's like, I did that because I don't wanna have to open uh, a box like this. So I have stacks of cards from this set already, uh, including um, the infamous uh, Evolutions Charizard, hold on. Definitely did not want to take this off. And I could definitely edit it out, but I just figured, why do that? Well, I'm already here. So we've got the, um, I just got a bunch of these. You can get them at Michael's. Uh, they're called shadow boxes or something. Um, but you can wedge stuff between them and get kind of a floating effect. And there's a latch. Um, there's a latch on the top um, that helps you slide stuff in and slide the glass uh, out. But yeah, so this is pretty much one of the, and this one's a PSA 8, which you can get for like 80 bucks. Um, it's a really, really great value for a Charizard, in my opinion. You can get such a nice Charizard from the Evolution set right now. They're just, there's a lot of them. Um, anyways, this would be the card that I would be chasing, you know, to get a PSA 10 uh, Evolutions Charizard. That is why these are going to go up in value, in my opinion. Um, this is really... A, a, a great example. Um, I think I spent about 780, 775, something, something like that, um, on this box. It has a small dent in it. Um, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Um, right now, these the packs that are inside this are selling for something like thirty or forty dollars a piece. So if you broke open this box and just sold individual packs, especially like heavier packs, um, I'm sure you could get even more. Uh, but I think the packs are going for about 30 to $40. So broken down times 36, and that's, um, if it's $30, 30 times 36, you're paying 1,080, I think. And if it's $40, you're paying 1,440. I think you're paying like fourteen forty something like that. So I think in the next uh, year or two years, these will hit something like twelve hundred to fourteen hundred a booster box. Um, you know, to basically I paid eight hundred for this box, so it's a really really nice uh, evolutions box, and I've been wanting to add this to my collection for a while. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this video, and I have another video coming up. Um, where I'm gonna talk about this. There is a base set, there is a base set unlimited booster pack in here. And if it's a heavy, big money. But either way, I'm going to be happy with it because it is a Charizard artwork booster pack. Super hype. There was a Charizard artwork bid tonight for the same pack from the same seller. Um, not the exact same pack, obviously, but um, there was a bid for it tonight and I lost my bid was 525 and I lost, so it's whatever. I have a threshold. I'm not willing to go crazy money into buying old booster packs, but I wanted to put my best foot forward and I didn't win. So I think, I think there's like six or five left or maybe six or seven left um, packs until this seller completely doesn't have these packs. But this would be my 13th pack. Uh, I'm gonna open that in another video, a different titled video. Um, also, I just wanted to say, um, now that I am buying packs again from the store, I am not opening them. This is only to sit on for the future. Uh, my days of like opening up a ton of packs are probably gonna slow down. Uh, but uh, just wanted to share. So I got, and y'all know I have uh, I have the display over here uh, for Brilliant Stars. And then I have my Fusion Strike display over there. 
that I will also be filling up with Evolving Skies and Darkness Ablaze. Um, yeah, let's see, I got one, two, three, four Evolving Skies packs and one, two, three, four Brilliant Stars packs. This is all they had in the store, so I was thankful because I didn't feel inclined to buy more. At $4 a booster pack, um, and I got, I got eight. I spent $32 on these booster packs. I think booster packs like these and these sleeves like this, uh, they're great to have on my hangers as a display piece, but also I think packs like this are gonna do the same thing that Evolutions is doing, not as quick. It might take, you know, it might take six or seven years, but eventually these same packs that we're getting today for $4 are gonna be 40 or $50 in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's, I think the market's gonna go up and I think Evolving Skies specifically, this, the artworks in here are fantastic. You've got Rayquaza alternate art. You've got Rayquaza V full art, which I pulled. You've got Rayquaza V, which I also pulled. Uh, those were awesome. Um, you've got Umbreon V full art, which I pulled. Umbreon uh, V Max full art, uh, which, wait, no, I didn't pull the V. I think I pulled, yeah, I pulled two Umbreon V Max. Um, I think Umbreon is my spirit animal because, and my spirit Pokemon, Eevee Evolution, because I pulled Umbreon out of Brilliant Stars. Oh, well, I can't see in there. I pulled Umbreon out of Brilliant Stars. Uh, the alternate art with Karen. I think it's Karen. I think that's the trainer's name. Um, and then I also pulled the Umbreon VMAX full art, which I pulled two of out of uh, Evolving Skies. So I feel like I have good luck with Umbreon. Um, I was kinda, I'm was i kind of bummed out that I did not get any of the other Evolution VMAXs, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, um, but it's whatever. It's all good. Um, anyways, going into a different direction, and we'll be talking about you know picking stuff like up, picking stuff like this up and then sitting on it uh, and maybe opening one or two packs along the way. But mostly I think it's better for you just to do what I did and order, um, you know, order the card that you think is going to be your chase card. It doesn't have to be graded. Uh, you could do this with a top loader just as easily. Um, you cannot fit the magnetic card holders. I was kind of bummed out. Um, I mean, you could fit it, but you'd, sc you'd scratch it up for sure. Uh, but you cannot fit the thickness of these magnetic card holders. It's just too thick um, for uh, these shadow boxes for floating your cards. But it works absolutely perfectly, like flawlessly, um, with the PSA graded cards. So that's a wrap on that. Talked about the packs. Talked about the box. Um, to be honest with you guys... I really do want to open one of these up, but there isn't a lot of incentive for me. Like I just said, this is a card that I would go after, and I have it in a PSA 8, and I can easily buy them near mint for 70, 80 bucks on eBay. So I, I honestly do not understand why there's so much hype with this box. It is a great set, and I think that's part of it is it's like, it's overall a great set because almost every Pokemon you're gonna get out of those packs if it's the older reprints, is going to look great. That's going to be collectible. Um, but anyways, I think for the most part, sealed products that are still wrapped in the plastic are going to hold their value better and sell for more. Booster boxes sealed are always going to outdo selling packs, um, in my opinion. Um, that is not always the case, but I think it's the case for a lot of these older booster boxes like selling an unlimited booster box, you could probably seal to get one, so sell one for um, $20,000. Whereas if you buy the packs, um, you can definitely probably pick it up cheaper. Um, but I just don't know, I, I like, like you, could, you could get people that just don't know what they're doing and they're gonna spend a lot more on packs. Like for instance, on the base set unlimited packs I was bidding on, someone bid 1,025 for an unweighed Charizard pack. You have no idea what the weight is and you're gonna pay 1,025 for that. It was just crazy to me to see that. And I guess that's why maybe breaking packs like these, you could get more. And this one's case, yes, getting $30 a pack or $40 a pack or $35 a pack, which is very easy to do with this set. Um, 
that will net you a lot more than selling the booster box sealed. But I don't think it's going to be like that for long. You know, I think getting these for seven, eight hundred is is comparably a good deal when people are selling packs for thirty, forty bucks. Um, but anyways, guys, um, <clears throat> the back of this, since I haven't talked about this enough. Uh, all trainers in Pokemon grow and evolve, and this expansion restores the very first Pokemon trading cards to glory. With the exhilarating power of Mega Venusaur EX, Mega Charizard EX, and Mega Blastoise EX, plus some wild surprises like Dragonite EX, Ninetales Break, Machamp Break, Mega Slowbro EX, the classic hardballing Pokemon and old school trainers are reinvented in the new generation. Ask Professor Oak to get you started. Um, and reach new heights with the Pokemon TCG XY Evolutions expansion. Um, and then you've got, you know, all of the mega versions, except for Raichu. Raichu on the back is still just Raichu, and I love that because I'm a huge Raichu fan. Um, at least, you know, Mega Venusaur looks pretty similar. Mega Blastoise looks pretty similar, but now he's got a stupid cannon on the top of his back. Not stupid. Someone did that. That's artwork that someone did. I'm sorry, I need to stop doing that. I just, it's a free country and you know you should be able to speak your opinion about something if you think it looks ridiculous. Um, and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of uh, Charizard's new look in this set. Uh, from the front, I feel like he doesn't look as bad as he does as an animation on the back. Um, you almost, it almost passes just like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a regular Charizard. But on the back, it just doesn't look it doesn't look the same. I really like seeing Raichu um, because you aren't you don't see him a lot. On, well, that's not true. He's on base set too, but I'm just saying you don't see Raichu a lot, and it's cool to see him featured on a pack. And you know, Venusaur looks the same. Blastoise almost looks the same. He's got that big cannon on top. And then you've got yeah, this Charizard is just kind of just kind of new for me. I'm actually kind of happy that the Pokeball. Um, slightly covers Charizard's, uh, Mega Charizard EX's face because I just, the box just looks clean and it's not, not too much attention on this artwork that's on the front, which I'm not really a fan of. I kind of almost wish that it was just like Raichu on the front. That'd be cool. Anyways, that's it for me. And I've got another video up here shortly, um, that's going to go over the booster packs. And if it gets really late tonight and we end up just kind of messing around with the podcast stuff, that's up to Diana. If she's up to it, I'm up for it, and we can we can figure it out. But um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this and uh, start on the next video so we can open up this base set unlimited booster pack. Peace out, y'all. Thank you for viewing.